Good morning. Day 20. And only four days until Christmas. And I'm taking care of today's mini and I'll start the knitting before I do anything else. I suddenly realized yesterday that I've done almost an entire Vlogmas without mentioning the make-along I'm running. There is a make-along. On Ravelry, in my group on Ravelry, the Gringe Mal. And that is running up until New Year's Eve, on the 31st. I'm going to close the thread as soon as I come back inside after being outside watching the fireworks. So about a quarter, 15 or 20 minutes past midnight on New Year's Eve. And I'll be drawing the prices early January, maybe January 1st. So that's something to remember. Anything for your selfish or anything green. And of course it can be both selfish and green. So don't forget that. My yarn ball just fell to the floor. So today I'm taking out my Christmas decorations, going through those, and I have to uh, put the tubs with Christmas decorations back in the attic because I haven't got anywhere else to put them for the time being. So as soon as I've decided what to use and what not to use, I'm going to put them back in the attic. And that I can do by myself because it's much easier getting tubs up a ladder than getting them down a ladder for some reason. They're not really big tubs. I might wait until Hobby gets back, depending on... Uh, I don't have to clear the guest bedroom today, I guess. I have uh, Thursday for that, because uh, Erlen, my youngest, doesn't arrive until late in the evening on the 22nd. So I have all day on the 22nd to get everything ready in the guest bedroom. And I'm also going to uh, get all my gnomes out today and show them to you with names and everything because I have to, I have to look it up on uh, Ravelry so I remember all their names so you know what patterns I've used. And now I'm going to... Uh, finish this and sit down and relax and do some knitting and I'll be back as soon as I've knitted a bit and have uh, been to the neighbor's house and then I'm going to get all my gnomes out and show them to you. So I'll see you later. Well, I promised you I'd show you all my gnomes that I've knit and tell you what they're called. And I have my Ravelry page up so I can tell you the names on them. So I'm going to do them in chronological order, in the order that I knit them. I started with this one. And this is a worst, I used the worsted weight, so it's bigger than the others. And this is the gnome, pun intended. And the beard is Corridale fiber. And I've used that on one other gnome. I think I, there was one other one. I used the Corridale fiber for the beard. So that's 
uh, what did I say? Gnome, pun intended. And then I did all work, gnome play. And this is knit with fingering weight. And the nose is a felted ball. And I use different kinds of yarns on this one. This is a Drops Fabel, Drops Fabel print. And the body is a uh, alpaca blend that I had, it. that was deep stash, so I have no idea what yarn it was. And the uh, braids, um, that's worsted, I think. Drops Charisma, probably. That's what I used for the gnome pun intended one as well. So that's all work. Gnome play. And then I did Oh Gnome, you didn't. This is a hand dyed, and this is. I'm not sure, to be honest with you. It's a commercial yarn, and I don't remember what sort kind it is. And uh, yellow is uh, Drops Noor. No, it's. Uh, it's left over from my sweater, so it's a uh, Permin Luna. And I used more of the felted balls at the bottom of the hat. And that's, oh no, you didn't. And that's sort of this lady's husband, I decided. And then I did the adventure gnome. And this is uh, Drops Fabel. The body is Drops Fabel and the hat, I don't remember. That's going to be something that's going to happen a lot. Uh, this is, uh, the ball on this hat is knit. And this is uh, an elf on a shelf. So it's supposed to sit on a shelf. And that's the adventure gnome. And then this is not just another gnome. And this is uh, this is one of the gnomes I'm probably not going to uh, remove after Christmas because it's not that Christmassy. Maybe the two purple gnomes will remain in on the shelf as well after Christmas. But this is not just another gnome. And again, I can't remember what kind of yarn this is, but I think it's from a uh, uh, I'm not sure and as I said that's going to be the case with most of them because I've used leftovers from stash for most of them and then we have leave gnomes down and turned and that was Snape going ballistic um, and I really love this one because I think I have, it's not heavy enough, so I have to give it a few, I have to do a little bit, little bit of this to make it stand up. And he has got a baby in his backpack. And I really love this one, I think this is cute. And this uh, wooden heart is something I just had laying around. And leave no gnome stone unturned. And again, a felt ball for the nose. And then we have make a gnome mistake. That's this one. It's one of the bigger ones. And he has a Corridale beard. And this is stranded color work for the hat. And I think this is Alison Barnes. Hush. For the body. And uh, and uh, it's hush from Alison Barn in the color work as well. I can't remember what the other one is. It's also a hand dyed, and this is also one that I probably won't remove after Christmas. And then we have the last one is choose your gnome adventure. And that's this one. This is a hobby sock yarn, self-striping. The body is drop snood, again with a felted ball for a nose. And the beard is 
merino spinning fiber that I got from our neighbor that she had lying around. She got it as a sample when she was running the local yarn store. And this is a Christmassy one. So he's going to be put away in January. And those are my gnomes and now I'm going to put them back where they was. Or maybe I'll find new places for them now that I have all of them in one place. I can decide where to put them next. I have gotten my ironing board out. And my iron. I rarely do ironing. But every Christmas I get it out to iron my Christmas table runners and tablecloths. I think I'm going to put them out today, even though I have some baking left to do. So I'll, I have a kitchen, a broad kitchen table runner that I put up every Christmas. And I think I'm going to iron that and put it aside and put it on after I'm done baking tomorrow. These, my neighbor made us these from fabric she had in stash. Uh, I'm off camera to pick the other one. And it fell to the floor. Uh, she also sold fabrics in her shop in her when she was running the local yarn stores. She had fabrics and yarn. And of course, uh, bits and bobs for sew sewing and knitting and uh, she has quite the fabric stash so I've some she has uh, made some tablecloths for me and table runners and she's also made curtains for us from her stash I used to help her out in the store making curtains I used to be able to make clothes as well, but it's not like riding a bike. If you don't do it regularly, you forget how to. But I wanted to uh, get my sewing machine serviced so I can be 100% sure that it works and make myself some clothes. I'm not sure when to get that done though, because uh, I love some. Of, I love quite a few of the patterns you can get online. Thing is, I only have a normal printer, and the thought of printing everything on normal A4 paper and then taping it together to cut out the fabric seems like quite the effort to me. We have a printing shop locally that you can get that can print photos and stuff like that and I think I'm going to go by there and ask them if they have the possibility of printing stuff on A1 paper so I of course will pay for it so I can take my PDFs there and get them to print them out on A1 for me or I can of course buy Patterns when I used to make clothes, I bought uh, patterns from Simplicity and what was the other? Burda. And that was the patterns I used when I made clothes. And I, I'm sure they have been following the trends. So they have up to date patterns. So I could check online and see what I find. Because I would really love to make myself some clothes. Maybe for next spring and summer. We'll see what I come up with. Also depending whether uh, the job center can find me a part time job. Because if that happens, I will have more than enough to do keeping the yarn business going 
because then I would have to spend some time dyeing yarn for the shop. And I wouldn't have a lot of time doing uh, other stuff. So depending, because we need the money, so I can't spend my time doing stuff for me. That doesn't raise any money for us. I'm having problems putting that over that chair. So one of these, she made three of these. They're supposed to be put across the dining room table uh, on top of a linen tablecloth that I put on the table first. But I'm only having two of those over the table this year because I have Uh, I want to put one of them on the, uh, we call those, uh, an open, I would call it a cupboard maybe, behind me. So I want to put one of them on that. This is the tablecloth I'm talking about. That's go, going on top of the dining room table. And because I don't like creases on my tablecloths, I'm ironing out the creases before I put it on the table. So that's my job for the day. I'm also going to hang up the Christmas stockings on the chimney. I put the, the ladder was, uh, we have this step ladder and it was outside on the patio. So I've taken that into the hallway. Right outside the uh, front door, so the snow can melt off it, because I can't take it in here. Because the, there will be a big puddle on the kitchen floor from all the snow, so I'm letting it stay outside in the hallway until all the snow has melted. Normally I wait until the day before Christmas, putting up the putting out the tablecloths but this advent I'm doing stuff I want to do when I want to do them because I want to enjoy my advent and try to go at a slower pace than I'm usually doing Simply because I don't want to be stressed and exhausted when the boys arrive. I want to be able to enjoy my Christmas with them. So that's why I'm doing stuff ahead of time this year. Hobby doesn't mind. He, he, he's sort of a bit of a Grinch, actually. He enjoys Christmas, but what he enjoys with Christmas um, is all the good food. He couldn't care. He couldn't care less if we had a Christmas tree or not, if we had lots of decorations or not. I'm not the type of person that has lots of decorations all over the place. But I have some pieces I want to have out every Christmas. Some traditional stuff. It's weird. Christmas decorations. I want them to be in the same place every year. And uh, this year I have to vary it a bit simply because I have made some gnomes that I want to incorporate in my Christmas decorations. And I haven't re really decided yet where they're going, but I think I will put some of them on the table on the dining table and we also have um, I can't remember what they're called in uh, in English just a moment I'm going to get one uh, poinsettia something and I have loads of these or not loads I have a couple of 
decorations with red ones and the reason why they're artificial there's two reasons for them being artificial one I have, I have lights in this but the batteries are going there you go uh, there's two reasons why I don't have uh, the real ones one I'm allergic and the second is they're poisonous and I have three cats we have three cats so I want I don't want to risk anything but they look really nice so and I can put them wherever I want because they're artificial and they don't need watering or anything so today that's what I'm doing I'm putting out the tablecloths that means I have to clear off that because you can as you can see uh, it's sort of a landing spot for a lot of things just put it over there so uh, I have to clear that out and I'm not sure where I'm putting everything but I'll maybe record it when I'm finished so this is how it ended up at least so far I might change my mind uh, I know that the Statue of Liberty isn't Christmassy, but I'm going to keep it there. Ireland, my youngest, built that one with their Lego set he bought with his own money, and he built it so I could have it, and it's got pride of place. I remembered what you call these in English, by the way. Sideboard, I think. Uh, one of my gnomes is, take, is watching over my scented candles. And those two are there, and that toadstool with a scented candle, I use scented tea lights. I got these for Christmas, I have two of them, I got them for Christmas last year, and they've been, I've used them all year, because I love them so much. And then we have another gnome this side. And that plant isn't particularly Christmassy, so I've placed a mouse in the pot one of those that's supposed to sit on the edge so that's what it looks like for now I'm probably going to put some uh, clementines or chocolates or something like that in bowls up there but for the time being it's like that and now I have to figure out where to put all the stuff that was on that sideboard before I put out the Christmas decorations and this is why we can't have nice things. I just put the tablecloth on, and there it is. So, the stuff at the end of the table isn't going to be there for Christmas. Uh, maybe the Dungeons and Dragons stuff will stay there, because we're going to play during Christmas. But for Christmas dinner, I'll find somewhere else to put it. And the cat's not supposed to be there. But he does whatever he wants. Uh, and the flowers at the end, or those are artificial as well, of course. I'm going to uh, put a um, uh, poinsettia there instead for Christmas. And what I was supposed to do was opening my tea calendar because I want a cup of tea. And I think I'm going to have a coriander cookie. So let's see. I haven't had... Uh, 18th I haven't drunk that tea yet so that's why it's that way but today is the 20th and it's black tea with cinnamon apple licorice orange rose hip and vanilla that sounds amazing so that should go very well with the coriander cookie I hope I think that is what I have for the day just had a cup of tea and a coriander cookie and now I'm going to uh, edit and upload this vlogmas and hubby is going to be home in about 45 minutes and then it's dinner and we're going to watch the rest of the critical role episode from last night because it's four hours and it doesn't uh, get uploaded onto YouTube until 9 p.m. on Mondays so we have about an hour and a half left of that episode so that's our entertainment for the evening i suppose 
and I'll see you tomorrow morning.